Hey everyone, in today's app of the day video, I wanna show you how to use Google Sheets mobile app. Now this is available for all Android devices and it's also available for iOS devices like the iPhone. Now Google Sheets is a spreadsheet program. So maybe you've used Microsoft Excel before. Google Sheets is similar to that, but it basically lives on the cloud. The storage is provided to you by Google. Now, if you're new to Google Sheets, I recommend you watch the video that I created on using it on the desktop. Using Google Sheets on the computer is a lot more efficient in my opinion, but Google Sheets app does come in very handy as a companion app. So I wanted to show you exactly how to use it on the mobile phone in this video. Let's jump in and show you how to use Google Sheets. You could find Google Sheets, the app on the iOS app store or the Google Play store for your Android devices. And I'm gonna go ahead and download and open it here. And you need to log into the right Google account where you want your Google Sheets to appear on. So if you don't have a Google account, just create one. If you've already used Google Sheets on the computer on the desktop, sign into that account. And if I press the three lines here on the top left, I could see the account that I'm signing to now on top and I could go ahead and change that right there if I want to. Let's go back to the home page here, and I only have one test file here that I created on the desktop version, and it automatically shows up here. Whatever you do on Google Sheets website or your Google Drive on a computer, it will sync up with this because of your Google account syncing up across all devices. Now, to create a new sheet, which is what I wanna show you here, you just have to press the plus sign on the bottom of the page, and you could choose from templates or from a new spreadsheet. I'll create a new one, but templates are really good to look at if you're trying to do things like creating budgets or invoices. There are some nice templates to choose from. Let's go ahead and create a new sheet and title your sheet and press create. Now, just like the desktop version of Google Sheets, you have one sheet here. So you see on the bottom it says sheet one. So you could press it right there and you could go ahead and rename that sheet if you want to here, or you could go ahead and duplicate it to, to create another sheet. I just clicked away, but you could also press the plus sign here and create another sheet that way. So typically, let's say I'm making a budget and I want a monthly budget here, so I could go ahead and rename this one, February, for example, and then I could go ahead and select the first one and rename this one January. So if I wanted to do something like that, and have a Google Sheet document with multiple individual sheets, you could do that. That's one of the first things I typically do. Is this a one-page document or a multi-page document? And I go ahead and create those pages on the bottom of the page. Then let's look on top. So if you're completely new to Google Sheets, I recommend you watch the desktop version of this video. I'll link that in the description where I go over some of the basic understandings of Google Sheets, like what a cell is, like this box is called a cell that number two, that's called a row, and A, B, C, and so on are called a column. So I'm not gonna cover the basics here, but if you wanna learn more about that, watch the longer video on the desktop. And you have some basic things you could do here. Like for example, if I double click on a cell, I'll go ahead and get my keyboard where I could type out a number, for example, and I could press the check mark right over here, and I've created my first cell here with a number. I'll go ahead to the B column, I'll double click this, and inside of these cells you could also type out words. So I'll press the A right here, so if you just see the number keyboard, just press AA right there, and we'll get the text keyboard, and then you could type out words here as well. You could write out sentences, really these cells could hold a number of different values, formulas, and a lot more. I'll press the check mark. And each of those cells, or these boxes has formatting on the bottom. So look on the bottom, you can make them bold, for example. You could go ahead and color them, the text itself. So I'll make this text red, for example. Let me go ahead and click away. You could go ahead and change the alignment within that box, and you could change the color of the background. That's this option here. So let's say I want this background to be green. You could go ahead and do that, click away. And on top, you have undo and redo. So these two arrows, undo and redo your latest changes. If you click the A right here, you get a lot more formatting options. So changing the font size, for example, underline italic for the text, a lot of different options here for the text itself or the number itself. And if you click cell, you have some options for the cell, like adding borders or filling the cell with a color, merging the cells, 
Again, a lot of these basic things I go over in the desktop version of this video. You have the plus sign on top, which lets you add images or charts here. That comes in very handy. And you have the three dots here. We'll come to this one later because I want to show you how to share and export a document from this page. But you could view comments, find and replace. Some useful things are on this page. Let me press the check mark here and press the back arrow on the top left because I want to go to a document that I've already created with some values so we could kind of look at that instead. I'll press annual budget and that will open that document. So that's how easy it is to go between documents on Google Sheets. And let me go back here. You also have the little search icon too. So you could go ahead and press search and search this page or your Google Drive to find a document if you made it somewhere else like a computer. And you have those multi box options that will change how you view a document. So I often like to view documents this way. That comes in really handy. Let's go back to the annual budget here. And on this page, let me show you how to share this with someone. So when you open a document like this, if you press the three dots, there is a share and export option. Click that. And you could go ahead and press share on top. Now, this is one of the most powerful things inside of Google Sheets, the ability to share and work on the same document with other people. So I'll press share and you would go ahead and invite someone. In this case, I've already invited someone else, but you would just type out their email here and then press send. It's that simple to give them access. Let me do one as a test. And what's important here when you add someone and put their email here is you want to give them the right permission. So by default, they're the editor. But if I press that, I can make him a commenter so they could comment if I want and not edit. Or a lot of times I just want them to view the document but not making any changes or comments to it. So you would have to choose that permission before you share this with them. I already shared this with someone, so I'm going to press X. Now, anytime you should see that little plus and person icon on top, you could click that. And you could go ahead and add more people or even groups of people here. And if you allow people permission to comment, the little comment box is right there. So press that and you'll see other people's comment that they made on this document. Again, it doesn't matter if they made the comments on the mobile app or on the Google Sheets website. So either way, they show up over here. Very, very useful to give comments across devices. And the last thing I'll show you, if you're going somewhere where you don't have internet access, one of the best ways to use the app is by pressing the three dots on the document that you want and then go ahead and press available offline. This basically makes it available without any internet access or cell data. So this way you could go ahead and look at this. It won't sync up with other devices, obviously, without internet access, but it still makes it accessible off the internet which is very, very useful within apps like this. One of my favorite things about Google Sheets is the fact that they sync up between the app and the desktop version. So when you're on Google Drive or the Google Sheet website and you make changes, it reflects that on the mobile app without you having to do anything as long as you're signing to the same account. So I love that. I also like to make minor changes on my app on my phone. And then when I have time to sit down and work on the computer, those changes just show up automatically. So I use these devices all the time together on all Google related products like Google Docs and Google Sheets. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I post easy to follow app videos every single week on this channel and I'll see you next time.